I had a dirt bike when I was in high school, and I loved riding my dirt bike. That was the main thing in my life that I had to look forward to. And basically, I spent my whole day trying to maximize the amount of time that I would get to ride my dirt bike around. Now, imagine if you were Spider-Man. Imagine if you had Spider-Man's abilities and could do all this amazing stuff. You would spend every moment of your day trying to maximize the amount of time you get to be Spider-Man because it would be the best feeling in the world. And I think that's that's a sort of a new take that we have on it, which is Spider-Man is, you know, it the, there is all the responsibility that comes with the power of being Spider-Man. But I think it's also important to remember how much fun it would be to be swinging from building to building. At the beginning of the movie, Peter loves being Spider-Man, but he doesn't love being Peter Parker. You know, Peter Parker sort of represents everything that he was, which to him is just a weird outsider-y, science-y nerd. Uh, and now he has this whole new future life ahead of him being a superhero and having met Tony Stark and, you know, thinking that he beat up Captain America and all that. You know, that's all... He's already moved on. But what he hasn't done is... Uh, sort of come to terms with who Peter Parker is and everything that sort of happened to him in the past. I think that's going to be the journey, is him realizing that you can't move ahead to be Spider-Man until you've really figured out who you are as, as Peter Parker. The way we've been talking about it is all the other movies we've seen uh, in the Marvel Universe have been sort of the penthouse level. You've been you see you see the Avengers at Avengers Tower, you know, you see Thor, you know, in his in his world. And you know, it's gonna be the same thing with Doctor Strange and his all of this has been like sort of the penthouse level. But now I feel like with Ant Man and then also especially with Spider Man, now we're seeing the ground level of what life is like in the MCU. We're seeing like what a day to day uh like what a day in the life is like of a kid who goes to high school in a world where the Avengers exist and where a portal is opened up over New York City where, you know, Chitari aliens have come through and almost destroyed, you know, half of New York. That, what are the repercussions of that? What is the day-to-day -day of that, you know? And how do things like gods existing on Earth affect, like, your high school history class and physics. <laughs> and I just want to see what that's like. And I think, you know, we're not going too deep into that, but I think that makes for a really interesting angle in which to see a high school movie. Okay, so keeping with the comic book movie theme, did you know that the train scene in Spider-Man 2 cost more than $150 million to shoot? The producers had to close down more than 20 miles of New York City streets and purchase a $6 million subway train to decimate during the scene. Mm. Now, if you haven't already done it, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to always receive the latest trailers the moment they are online. See you next time. Bye.